Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie Farming in the Philippines. Look at this. What's we just I'll just try to rotate him to the light. So what's this fella? 75. Just for 74. 75. 75. They're close to 75, it's not yeah. funny. So these hooks are really good. These are deer hooks that I brought online years ago for this purpose. And um, they have little clamps here where you clamp up their little deery legs. But um, I just cut them off with the, with the grinder, and that way I can slide them in. Put it in underneath the tendon here, and they'll never break, never never snap. Just stick the knife through and put these in. So there you go, this is number two guy. Looking bloody good. So I get the saw out and cut him down. Right guys, so he's in the air con, chilling down. Tomorrow will be Mr. Butcher Man again. So it's turned out quite good. Actually another good cut down the spine. Look at that. That bloody battery saw is really good, guys. It is really good. Keep it down there, you can't go wrong. One time when we went to pick it up, they cut it, they thought it was for um, latch on. And so they cut it, cut all the ribs with the machete all the way down through here. So it's easier to cut up for latch on. And I'm like, oh, there goes me chops. Oh no, oh no, me roast, oh no. Another time I went, they cut it up into quarters. Of course, when you cut it up into quarters, you've lost your belly, because you've got to stretch your belly out. So all this will shrink up and this will all shrink down. Was not happy, Jan. Was not happy. Right, we're going to put a wet towel, wet blanket, a sheet around him now, and that will let him cool out. Right, guys, it's 4.30 in the morning. Yes. Right, so I'm going to start on this already. So I'm going to cut, cut this one down into its three sections, each side, and throw that one into the refrigerator. Then I'll come back to him later. Mm. Right, there's that all done. Geez, that saw is bloody handy, guys. Very handy. Right, so there we are. All in the refrigerator, on high. Come back to him later. Right, looks like the sun's coming up. I hope it's lovely wherever you are, same as it is here today. Have a great day wherever you are, guys. Right, this is from pig number one. This is the um, the loin chops, the boneless boneless loin chops. So I suck this into the freezer, hardened it up, and then defrosted it to the right level. See, when it's nice and firm, look at that, you can cut it up nicely. However, when it's all gooey and goobly, Beautiful chops, absolutely beautiful. Get in for your chop, guys. Get in for your chop. Mm. Right, so I've got the front four quarter here, so I'm going to cut this one down through here. So virtually keep it in a nice line, straight across here, and that's your pork butt there. And this is where the leg would have been, and all this would go down into <coughs> sausage patties. But the pork butt, I want to keep. Look at that line, geez, it came out well, didn't it? All right, guys, let's cut up this bastard. Right, so the shoulders are both done, so I've got a couple of um, pork butt shoulders out of that, and a roast, and the rest is going into the mince bowl. So the legs now, work on the legs, and do the, um, the pork bellies last. So with this one here, I'm going to keep the muscle group, and I'm going to put it through the jerky, because there's no fat up under here. So I'm going to do that, and this is going to be, we haven't had any uh, pork jerky for a while, so I've got the machine up there that makes it up there. Put it through the machine, slice it the perfect thickness and uh, put it in its marinade, stick it in the dehydrator and yummy. Right, get these legs going. So I've skinned it all down and let's get into it. Right, so that's one leg down. So go on to the next leg. That's the same thing. Take all the skin off and make them into muscle groups. And it will turn into nice, um, this will actually, some of these I'm actually going to, um, I'm firming it up in the freezer and what I'm actually doing is then I can um, cut it up into a bit and chick can use it all in the stir fries etc etc etc. So um, nothing gets wasted guys. All different cuts for it, all different cuts and slices. So remember guys, there's nothing more satisfying than raising your own pigs and butchering them yourself. 
to, to know where the meat on your table, where it's come from, what they've had to eat growing up, is absolutely beautiful. And when you're a hobby farmer, you gotta know how to do everything, guys. Look at that. Ooh. That's a good gut, hun. What are you gonna do with that? Mr. the leg, look. So all this is just lovely meat. Wow. Okay, what I'll do, I'll put him in the pack and I'll freeze him down and I'll slice it like the bacon into, you know, whatever size thickness yeah. is like. If you know what I mean. And then yeah. they'll go in like steaks and then I'll put them into smaller packets. Mm. Put them into smaller packets and you can just pull it out and you say, well, I'm going to cook up a steak mm. or you can slice it for your whatever's. Mm. You know what I mean? Han, can we have like also the Aussie cuts of bacon, the thick one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bellies, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So we never have that for a long time. No problem. I know. And that mean. fat is yeah. mm. gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. But no fats this time, yeah? That's all the leg styles. We haven't got the belly. Oh, yeah, yet. yeah. Yeah, I forgot. <sighs> right, it's coming on to 20 past 11. So I put these ones out of the fridge and hung them back up here again because I need to get some stretch into those. And these ones I'll do after lunch. But uh, looking absolutely gorgeous, darling. So all the bones, I've just cleaned everything up so far. All the bones are all in here. This is on, this will make a nice stock. Lovely stock, but this goes down. All the meat gets pulled off the bones, so the dogs don't get the bones, I'm afraid. Sorry, dogs. But they do get all that meat pulled off, put in the small plastic bags for per meal. So it works out okay. Now I've got this big one here now to um, cut up into pieces to go through the mincer. So it's coming together quite nicely. Yes. Right, so all the other packets are down. This one's up. I bought some pork fat when we were up at the, um, the place where we used to buy the slabs before. We used to buy the slabs of pork. Now, have a look at this, what Chick brought the other day while we were in town. This is a little ball maker. Look at this. Show us how it works, darling. Wait. 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 So doing, doing pork balls. Mm. Do you have to wet it to make it um, not stick or anything? Or? I just put crumb on so it won't stick. No, I mean, do you wet? Oh, yeah, I oil it. Oh, oil? Yeah. There you go. Right. This is my chicken, chicken lunch. Special mm -hmm. rice just for the chickens. So I'll cut this up, get them fed. Right, so these are the bags I use for the, um, for the sausage mince. So put the, put the pork through and put it through on the real fine grind. So you've got beautiful sausage mince then. And uh, these are the bags that you buy from one of the um, videos that I used to follow all the time. And uh, they're quite good actually. They're quite good, they've got markings on them. So you can see how far full you want to put it. And uh, very handy, just put that straight over the nozzle and fill her up, bang, tie, hit it with a tie. The um, best thing was the, the fence tie. You know that little crimper? The wire crimper. And put that onto a clink and it was done. So I've got to order some more of those for sure. Right, so the lovely Aye Aye's given us a hand, so we, it's bloody 12 o'clock and I should have had this finished right now. So, this is all done now. These ones will go into the freezer and uh, when we do one, do the whole lot in one big hit. And after lunch, I'll get these bad boys over here done. So we're getting there and it's working. Thank you, Aye, for your help. Thank you, Han. You're welcome. I'll go and do the chickens. Right. Rice time. They go ape over this stuff. Back, back. I have to try and get it on the cement to make it easier for them. I like to chew. Ooh, they love this shit. Hey, duckies. Funny, you see, they'll grab it and run like hell. You know, it's like, I'm not sharing this, no way. I feel like I dropped the rain just then. Hey, big boy. It is on you. This drops of rain. Must be coming from up the back. Oh, just wait. Just wait, you. Ooh, take that, bitch. Yep, drops of rain. How bizarre. Here you go, don't forget you guys. Where's the mama and the new babies? I just let mama out with all the babies this morning. Here you go, guys. 
啲屎湿啲。你嘅，你嘅 big boy， 我都发觉你，你嘅。Oh, here you go, Mama. Look at that. They absolutely love this stuff. Oh, there you go. Oh, how's that? That bloody sunshower drops. Oh, look, they're fighting over here for it. Give me more, give me more. Late lunch today. How are you? You were laying like this when I went out and got the camera. Little boy. He's gorgeous, this fellow, I tell you. Thank you, Uncle Bob. <clears throat> Mummy's made meatballs. You interested? No? Look at that. Look at that. Lovely. That's all the ribs off. <sighs> so this is all nice loin. And this will all go, I'll do some as bacon and some I'll do for um, chick chick for her um, pork bellies. So that's quite nice. This is where the bones are off. Do your loin chops. Yummy. It's working guys. All right, guys, have a look at that. She's a big, big bastard, isn't it? It's a big slab, hun. So that's all your loin through yeah. there, and um, this is your your pork belly. So, remember so, before you make a bacon that's like this for sandwich. I mean, yeah, the eye bread? bacon. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I'll cut him down here. This can all go into bacon, mm. and uh, the other one I can still do in chops. You know, cut all that up into chops, mm. or type thing. But um, this can all be eye bacon, and this can be um, if you want just pork belly. Cut up into cut up into strips. Yeah. Have to firm it up first. Mm. But um, if you want pork belly, because we've just got to last a few months. Yeah. Or I can um, do this all in pork belly in strips for you, mm. and that one I can make all bacon. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They're the bones from the that part there. Mm. Don't know if you want those up into soup ones or into the dog one. Yeah, I, you can even give that to Mama for his dogs, right. his pup dog there. Done, done. And the ribs, you want these just cut? You yeah. want these cut? You want to cut off here? Yeah. Then down through there? Yeah. Okay, done. That. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. They make gorgeous bacon. Absolute gorgeous bacon, guys. Right, number one's down and put away. Last one, look at that. Look at that, so I'll do the same thing with this. Get all those ribs off first, then we'll decide what we're going to do with it. Yes. Right, guys, so this is the way I do it. It's different from everyone else. So I come in through the bottom like normal, cut around. <coughs> we come up from the bottom like this, and just keep peeling all the way until I get to the end here, like so. Then, now I've got the saw, this line up under there, now I've got the saw, all I have to do is just run the saw down through here and cut it all off. And it's so easy to do. So easy to do, guys. Look at that, see? Voila. Voila. Perfect. Absolute perfect. Right, all finished. So we're going to run these into popper. So I find out what I was doing. I found out what I was doing wrong with that vacuum bag. Sometimes it would it would go automatically bang. Other times it wouldn't. And I had a lot of pain. Even Dave, Dave Greenslade said uh, you got issues with it. What's happening? So I found out what the problem was. I was sticking it too far into the machine. So um, if I bring it back, which I thought, oh no, that's not right. But um, if I brought it back just that little bit more and put it on the line, look at this. So it works absolutely perfect. So everything's done, everything's in the freezer. This is for Mama's dogs, this is for Papa. Some uh, hunk of meat plus the uh, trotters. So uh, he's gonna have some fun with that. It's coming on a quarter to three. Gotta go and pick up the corn, gotta drop this off. 
drop off all the durians, got a heap of durians to drop off. So we're flat out as always on a hobby farm. Guys, thanks very much for watching. Number two pick is finished. I can relax, take it easy, and I'll catch us all later on. See you later, guys.